How's it going, everyone? My name is Maximilian, and you're watching episode 39 of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 The Online Warrior. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the next part of the Road to First Lord for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. It's been a long time, and I've been in the similar rank in this game, and I finally wanted to make the progression series of getting to First Lord finally in Ultimate Marvel 3, hopefully within the next few days, and hopefully within the next few series. But it is a challenging one, as you will see in this, in this bracket of ranks. There's a lot of people that really want to get higher ranked, and there's a lot of people using some really good teams, and they're really good equally. So um, right off the start, you'll notice that I switch between tw I switch between teams rather rapidly at this point. Wow, Wesker ducks right below the drones and takes out Captain America. But yeah, I'm using Captain America, I'm using Sentinel, I'm using Strider. Uh, this team does not have the best synergy by any means, but I did want to start using some new characters as I never really used Sentinel at all in the original vanilla. And he's a very good assist character in this game, and he got nerfed to the point that his health is so low now that any random overhead can kill Sentinel. And I think he's somewhat of a fair character now. Um, nonetheless, if you want to pick the characters you want to win with, you got to pick the characters you want to win with. So, let's take a look at the game right here. I am down one character, but so is he. His Wesker is dead, which is one of the biggest factors on his team. But he also has Strider on the end, so he was actually, I just realized, he's running, he's running my team. The team I normally use that I want to win. But I catch Strider with the hard drive, and I want to kill him, but wow, he does a, he does a very smart jump and grab. And now, Sentinel will most likely die as a result of this. There's no reason I shouldn't be dead. Um, what in the heck? I don't know why that, I don't know why he would have done that, but now Strider's back in, Sentinel's recovering health, and he's got more than 50%, so this should be pretty good. Relaunch with Strider, there we go, and I don't know if this will be able to take him out, or if this will actually hit, it doesn't. That's right, dude, Legion is so random sometimes, which is why I hate using it. Nonetheless, oh no, this is not good. Teleport in the air, he uses, oh, he tried to do another finger laser to kill Sentinel, but I was on the other side, so he got... Wow, he got Doom's time, so that's really bad for him. Knock Strider onto the ground. I don't think I'll even be able to kill him with this, but Sentinel might be able to do something. One, two, three, four, five, and no meter. Sadly, this should reach, though. No, it doesn't. So I bring in Strider. Actually, I'm looking at the wrong meter. I totally had meter. So I bring in Strider for Ouroboros to make this as hard as possible on him. Probably throw out a couple of drones in here at some point, I would think. And what? what's going on? What's going on? And no, it's a KO. So fairly solid game. Let's get right into the next one. Captain America now against what looks like Hagar, She-Hulk, and Frank West. So it's, there's some, there's some, there's some very high HP on this team. Get a quick combo, and uh, don't know why I threw Strider in there. That would not have made that any easier. Captain America gets him with the shield, and that's the great thing about Cap is that you can confirm off the shield almost, if it, almost if it hits anywhere, and you can do stuff like that, like a get off me assist move, which is a charging star. Get him with the throw, and I totally whiff the wow, totally whiff the light shield slash to pick him up off the ground to OTG. And now Captain America is taking damage like a mother. Back on the ground, Hagar's coming in, shopping carts all over the place, but he misses his reset, and I throw out a shield. That should just about do it. So that's the thing with Cap, is that you get this ability to plow through things with this move, because it's got a lot of priority, just a ton of priority. Mess that one up too. Uh, I don't know if the window to do that is very long, much less... Well, we'll see. If I get this combo, I'll be pretty happy. Three, four, and... Actually, I could have done a... Um, I just realized what you do after that one when, the, when, you're that, when you're that distance away from the character on the ground, you let the light shield slash hit him once and it comes back and hits him again and then you do a charging star into super to, to set it up. So that was my bad. I did not know the character that well uh, like I know him now. Uh, and I still don't know him too well. So nonetheless, trying to do my best with Captain America to space out She-Hulk. Anytime she tries to attack, you throw in one of those and it hopefully will prevent her from doing what she wants to do. Now Frank is in here and Frank is only level 1 so this is probably bad news for Mr. West. I don't know if this will kill, but if I throw in an X-Factor in here, let's see how dirty his X-Factor... Oh my gosh, so that didn't work. What I should have done there is brought in Sentinel, done Plasma Storm, and then X-Factor done another Plasma Storm, but a quick flight cancel leads Frank with a uh, frying pan in the face, and that just about does it. So another game where you kind of have to space things out, like Captain America going up against She-Hulk, you don't want to get close to him. Now I'm going against a Tron, Ghost Rider, and Taskmaster, pretty interesting team. And this guy is uh, pretty high ranked as well, so we got there using characters you don't see that often. Well, let's see how it goes. Um, Tron can be a very difficult character to go up against online, especially characters like the Hulk and Tron. Blocking their high-low mix-ups that have a lot of priority can be pretty difficult with a little bit of lag, so you kind of have to be ready that Tron is good online. 
even though she's a very unused character now. And look how much damage this is doing. He misses the second part of it, and wow, my charging star gets eaten by arrows, and I got hit by a full screen toy gun. Wonderful. Throw out, ooh, throw out hard drive. I'm gonna capture, I'm gonna capture Tron in it, but this is doing nothing. Look at the, look how little damage this is doing. Even on this second part, uh, with the Strider relaunch, it does, does nothing. But this should do something pretty good, but I missed it. So what, if you see what I did there, I was actually wave dashing, I think, by pressing uh, two attacks down, two attacks down, two attacks down. If you, um, if you properly don't wave dash that way, and you wave dash using the other method, which is like, just using uh, plank dashing, it'll make it a lot easier on you to actually set up your attack after. Nonetheless, Ghost Rider is X-Factored, Sentinel is getting beat the hell up, and I am now saving all my meter for Strider, although for some reason I I tagged him in. I don't know if that was the best idea. Uh, wow, do not capture Ghost Rider there. And now Strider's left, and I should probably X-Factor, but I get caught in a combo. This will probably mean death. Uh, if I was him, I don't think there would be any reason I should live from this. There we go. Well, that hits. That's actually pretty damn cool. He does an X-Factor, but he doesn't need to. Here comes Taskmaster to finish off with the arrows, and... A full level 3 Team Super, not not Team Super, level 3 DHC Team Super, takes out Strider. So once again, the road to First Lord is not easy. Uh, go up against the same opponent one more time, and this is something you'll run into really frequently when you go up against uh, when you go up against people of higher rank. Is that there's literally when you get up to these higher ranks, there's less than 200 to 300 people in the whole world on the leaderboards that are actually playing the game at this rank. So there's not that many. And all of a sudden, Tron takes out Dante, and he's dead just as quick as the game started. Trying to get some space with Doom. Finally get out of the corner, and I'm back in the corner. This isn't good. And now I have to recognize that Doom's double foot dive combo in the air, his relaunch doesn't work the same on Tron because of her weird hitbox, but get a jumping throw, get her back in the corner. I don't know if I'll still be able to kill her with this, but it will definitely take down some of his damage. And if anything, I would probably snap back at this point. Yep. I have the same frame of thought, get get Taskmaster in there, and I do not want to... I'd rather deal with Ghost Rider, I'd rather deal with Tron, I don't want to deal with Taskmaster. Uh, that's that's kind of my motivation. A couple quick hop dashes in, and I can definitely do my double foot dive combo in the air on this guy. And this will lead him into the corner, and most likely death if I can finish everything up here. Let's see if it does. Ooh, I don't choose to go for it for some reason. Don't know exactly why, probably because I, probably because I was thinking it might not have killed. Nonetheless, Taskmaster is riding a little bit of health. Doom wave dashes in a couple of times, or hop dashes in, as after Strider's assist, and he's down. Got Ghost Rider now, and after a quick mix-up right at the start, Strider covers me at the top, uh, and then Doom jumps in at the bottom for a low attack, so it can be pretty tricky to look at that one. And now Ghost Rider is eating hella combo. Bring in Strider, I don't know if that... That probably wasn't intentional. I get that every once in a while when playing online, is that you'll get the... Uh, for forward foot dive to down foot dive, I'll eventually get a TAC motion for the side. And that's exactly what I didn't want. Nonetheless, it ends up with Doom finger, finger lasering the hell out of Nicolas Cage, and it's game over. So Strider and Doom versus Tron, and this is probably going to go pretty well in my favor now that I've finally touched her and landed an X-Factor. Wow, you see how huge her hitbox is? Doom only had to dash down once to get to her. Pretty crazy. Slap the chair, KO the face, and the poor little girl in a giant robot suit is dead. So getting another game back, and this is the kind of thing that you'll see um, when you start going up against people online. If you lose one, it's like you have to, at least getting to First Lord, you have you lose one, you have to like win three. It's it's pretty brutal. So um, now we're going up against a zero, what looks like Spencer and Doom, a very viable team, uh, especially with hidden missiles on his end. It can be very good. If you notice what I'll do, uh, I hope I do it in this in this scenario. I'm going to be throwing shield slashes, most likely diagonal down uh, below zero. The reason being is to tag his Doom if it comes out. Now the reason I want to tag Doom is because a lot of his offense relies on Doom doing hidden missiles and him like floating all over the place with zero. And wow, just like that, zero's dead with the DHC. Um, I try to tag Doom as much as I can just to stop Doom from doing his assist and letting zero do whatever the hell he wants. So it's just one of those things and bionic arm must have caught me jumping. And woo, thank you Sentinel so much. <laughs> Once again, the shield slash stops, uh, yeah, stops Doom from doing hidden missiles and allows me to hit Taskmaster. And he's hella pissed because he's X-Factored and he wants to use it. And I don't know if I'll be able to kill here. Ooh, I don't know what I was going for in that point. That does not work anywhere but the corner. Block the overhead, goes for the slam, does not get it. Doom gets tagged once again. Not that many hidden missiles are coming out, which is, which is a good thing. Preventing Spencer from doing what he wants to do. Once again, stopping Doom. And this, you're seeing a theme here. It's stopping Dr. Doom from doing Dr. Doomish stuff. Hit Doom. Uh, I don't know if I predicted that. That might have just been totally lucky. 
But now Doom is riding no health, gets hit right at the start, and eating shield slashes, another one to the face right at the end, and that'll just about do it. So, um, yeah, the only thing that made me win that game was the fact that I was somewhat able to stop Doom from constantly throwing out hidden missiles. Here we go. Another opponent, another game, getting closer. I actually think this is my rank up battle. This is going to be awesome if I finally get this one. So going up against a Dante, looks like Dormammu and Magneto. Looks like Sentinel's getting murdered right now from some guns from Dante, but I'm getting a sweet combo with Captain America. Missed the second portion of it. He cancels it into the hammer right at the very end, and this should do some pretty decent damage against Cap. I don't know if it'll kill him, but it will definitely do good damage. Um, even with level 3, Captain America's got a lot of freaking health, so I should be alive after this, so we'll see what... Oh my gosh, that's right! Oh, that's so bad. One game away. Who knows if I would have taken this one or not, but we'll never find out now. So here's my my second rank up battle. This is a rank up to get the first lore to see how it goes. And it's I don't I don't win the first exchange by any means. It looks like Hulk is taking it right at the start. And this is one of the most difficult teams to deal with online. Hulk and Sentinel is perhaps the most powerful online combination of synergy you can possibly get. It is so hard to stop their full screen pressure and the Hulk's like gamma charge pressure. Once you fight up against it, you'll understand what I mean. It's one of the best things you can do if you want to just play online. Nonetheless, Captain America scoops up uh, scoops up the Hulk, gets a quick shield slash combo. I should probably be able to DHC into Sentinel, taking out the big green dude, but Sentinel's got tons of health uh, in the red, so Captain America comes back in to let him recover that. Almost gets kicked in the face. Strider comes down. Uh, once again, I'm able to get a off-the-ground off shield slash. I don't know if there's any other way I can do that with this team to get like a proper combo out of it, but oh my gosh, I get hit with a frying pan. This should do some pretty good damage. This had a crouching medium before it, so it won't do as much as it possibly could, but it doesn't matter. He can DHC right into Wesker, and now I gotta deal with the most evil dude in this game. So let's see how this goes. Sentinel's coming in without a lot of recovered health. Gets a hit at the start, but not good. Hits with a frying pan, and now my Sentinel is dead. Left with only Strider, so... Ooh, I was trying to hit... I tried to hit Wesker there, but it just didn't happen. Get a crossed up uh, standing H with, or jumping H with Strider. Pop X-Factor, miss the OTG, but now I got something to work with here. I don't know what I was going for there. Probably should have gone for the off-the-wall combo. Nonetheless, this should do some fairly good damage to Wesker. Hit him on the top. I, I wish if I hit S, it would have spiked him onto the ground to make it a lot easier. But now Sentinel's got hard drives to stop all of this stuff. And there it goes. X-Factor probably at one point. Yep, there it is right there. And now I am left with a Strider that's low. And he's in constant blocks then because I didn't space out my Ouroboros correctly. That's the problem with Strider and you use Ouroboros, is the fact that um, if you keep throwing discs out, they'll be in an infinite block stun and you can't actually hit them and do a jumping heavy in the air and this most likely will kill Strider because he has such little health. And there goes my rank down opportunity. So it's one of those things, man, it gets you extremely upset. Dude throws out a taunt just to make you feel even worse at the end of a game. And we go into the next battle, so... Next battle, as you can see, definitely is not a ranked up battle. It is a normal match, because you have to pretty much win three and only lose one. So there we go. Capture, uh, capture Virgil, because I see the teleport right at the start. If I get this... Yep, get the get the car, uh, the Strider and Captain America side combo, uh, which it only works in the corner, which is really weird. And just like that, with that little bit of extra meter, I have no meter now, but Virgil is dead, and I'm a happy man. Dante gets hit at the start, see if I can juggle into the rest, nope, I don't get it, and Dante taps Captain America on the face with a jumping S, and we'll go into the rest of his combo here. Gets the bold cancel teleport, and goes into more, wow, I guess he, I guess that happened a little too early, and the missiles didn't hit in time. Throw out a very unsafe charging start, don't know what the hell is going on there, I guess uh, Sentinel didn't back me up in time, oh no, and wow, wow, do a cartwheel right through Dante. If I can get this full combo, it should kill him. One, two, three, four, and of course not. But I grab him and slap him back to the ground as he was shooting some guns. So, Captain America, let's go. Ooh, tap. Ooh, if I can get this, this should work. Yep. If you use Shield Slash a couple of times, you can properly take out characters just through juggling them and recognizing that you have a little bit of opportunity. And will this actually kill? Yes, it does. Captain America is a very beastly and damage-dealing character. So, it's one of those things, man. You get back on the horse, you gotta try to get back to your goal, set that goal, and the road to First Lord will once again continue. If you guys enjoyed the online ranked games, please let me know. If you're enjoying this Road to First Lord series about how crazy difficult it can be to get to the higher ranks, uh, let me know in the comments below as well, or a thumbs up if you enjoyed the commentary. And if you'd like, please check out the season finale to assist me. It went up not too long ago, featuring Taskmaster, MODOK, Deadpool, Wesker, Strider, and Doctor Doom, a huge battle for the fate of my house. Until next time, my name is Maximilian, and I'll see you guys later.